Welcome to Laurel Highlands High School. We're ready for high school basketball here at the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. We're going to turn it over right away to the PA announcer, Vince Capozzi, for the national anthem and the introduction of our starting lineups. Here's Vince. Davis, Richardson, Lynn, and Pecan. For Trinity, Justice, Bozick, Williamson, Roberts, and Clutter. The South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring the supervisors of South Union. Robert Schiff by Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with Gary Smith. This is Gary Frankhauser along the with Jerry Dupay 
bringing you to this after's this afternoon's action. Sorry for that. Here from Laurel Highlands High School, the Mustangs in the home white, the Trinity Hillers in the traveling blue. Here's your tip. Controlled by Trinity, number 14 is Bozik. Taken away by the Mustangs, though. Come back now with Griffith. Griffith behind the back dribble. Man-to-man -man defense by Trinity. In the corner now, driving baseline. There's a blocking foul called. That's going to be on number 21, Maddie Roberts. Going baseline there was Essence Davis. Bring it back out now. I'm going to have stepped on the out-of-bounds line. It's going to be the Hiller's ball. Girl squad is are known as the Phillies, so we're going to call them the Phillies. It has Mustangs up on the board. That changes every year what they want to be called, so we'll uh, just refer to them as Laurel Highlands. Now, three-pointer on the way off the back of the iron. No good. That was Williamson. Rebound pulled down there by Clutter. Another th three-pointer on the way. This time good by number 11, Macy Justice for the first bucket of the game. 3 nothing, Trinity. This is Davis now trying to go to the court, go to the to the hoop and got the ball stuck on her hip as she tried to dribble the lane and that'll be a turnover back to Trinity. Bringing it ahead now, controlling is Eden Williamson. Left wing high, that's clutter number 24. Jumper short there by Bozik and it's gonna be out of bounds for Laurel Highlands. Number five for the Phillies is peak on. Full court press now, trying to be broken and tipped out of bounds, so stays in favor of the Phillies. Ariana Griffith will take it out of bounds. Before some help, she has peak on in the backcourt now. Alessandra, the five foot one junior, will control out front across to Davis. Now in the corner to Lynn. Driving baseline again, but unable to get there was Griffith. She'll try to get it out front again. It could be a five second call here, and it is. Five second possession by Griffith, unable to find one of her teammates. Turnover back to Trinity. Corner now drive, one hander up no good, but offensive rebound put back no good again for Trinity. Two opportunities to the hoop now. There for Bozek, Griffith with the three pointer off the back of the iron over the top of the banking board out of bounds to Trinity. Good square up that time by Ariana, but just could not get that three pointer to fall. Williamson will bring it ahead. 1 2 2 zone now for Laurel Highlands. They match up in a 2 3. Corner three pointer on the way. In and out, no good. Offensive rebound. Knocked around in control. Let's see who's going to have it. It's going to be a jump ball, and that'll be possession to the Phillies. Battling in there was Essence Davis along with the Trinity Hillers' Macy Justice. And they will set up the full court press. Double team across to Griffith. She'll bring it ahead, gets it to the middle of the court, which is where she wants to be, and she's going to be fouled there by number 24, Alyssa Clutter. That'll be her first, a team second. 5.49 to go here in the first quarter. 3-0, Trinity on top. Mustangs trying to break the seal here. The Phillies, I have to correct myself on that. Pass in now, and that's going to be controlled by Davis. Out of bounds, stays with the Phillies. Substitution now at the table for Trinity. That'll be number 22, Agatha Nikolai. Sophomore, five foot four. sophomore for Trinity. Screens will allow Pecan to get the inbounds pass in the backcourt. Finds Griffith. She's going to be held again. That's number 20, Williamson, picking up her first. Three quick team fouls on Trinity here in the first quarter. 
Phillies now get it into Davis. She's going to try to take it herself. And that's a clean block there by Maddie Roberts. But out of bounds. The Phillies will have it underneath the hoop. Griffith again. Now, nice pass into Davis. Can she get it to go? She does. So, Essence Davis gets the Phillies on the board, makes it a one point game at three to two. Quickly down the middle comes number 20, Eden Williamson, and she's going to be fouled right at the hoop. Going to be a two shot opportunity. And that's going to be a foul on Essence Davis, her first, team first. At the line will be. Eden Williamson, five foot nine junior, forward for the Hillers. First one up, off the iron, no good. One more opportunity to come. Second one up, got it. Now man to man, full court press being. Deployed by Trinity. A lot of pressure for the Phillies to try to get this in, and that's going to be a hard pass to control by Pecon. Stolen away, but now loose ball picked up by Pecon, and Davis will bring it ahead. She lost the handle, but knocked out of bounds by Trinity. Just getting a little bit ahead of herself there. Essence, the uh, five foot nine junior. Ariana Griffith gets it to Davis. Now swing it all the way around. Lynn with the drive with her left, stop. Pop has it blocked. And for the rebound was Richardson and out to the hoop. Griffith with the bucket, pounded but no foul called and now quickly Trinity gets it down the court for the left hand layup that time by number 21, Maddie Roberts. Six to four now is our score. Oh, Pecon had a break, but it was stolen away. Three-pointer again on the way by Trinity. In and out, offensive rebound, and the putback won't go. Looked like a, another offensive rebound, and they're controlling the boards in there. Trinity need to block out if you're the Phillies. And now Essence Davis is going to pick up her second foul. Driving to the hoop that time. Baseline was number 24, Alyssa Clutter. And too many opportunities at the hoop that time for Trinity. Six to four, 427 to go here in the first. At the line will be Alyssa Clutter for two. Gets the first one to roll in. Makes it seven to four, three point ball game. Melissa off the front of the rim, no good. Davis with the rebound. She'll try to bring it herself. Gets it in the corner to Griffith. She'll drive baseline too hard. Up off the rim now, Trinity trying to run. Controlling there is number 22, Nikolai. She gets it inside, nice pass to number 24, Clutter for the two. Making it now nine to four. Griffith. Will try to do it herself. She gets it ahead to Davis. Davis now being double teamed in the corner. Tried to get it to Griffith on the drive, but we have a jump ball call, and that's going to be Trinity possession. Opportunity lost there for the Phillies. Unable to maintain the handle on the ball. Gives Trinity the possession back again with a 9 to four lead. That's a travel. Just picked up both feet as Clutter tried to make her move. Now more substitutions in for Trinity. Looks like Bozek coming back in as well as Riley Corins, number 23. Get it across now. Pecan able to track it down. She brings it ahead. Cross to Griffith. Man-to-man -man defense by Trinity. Griffith trying to go baseline. Cut off there nicely. Davis with the three. Too hard off the glass. Richardson with the rebound, though. She gets it to Lynn. Might have got away with a the walk there. Griffith now has a baseline. 
Gets it up. No good. Gets her own rebound. Couldn't get it up. Now we have a travel call. Good defense. Straight up and down were the Trinity Hillers. Ariana just could not get it up to the rim. Still 9-4. to 3-14 to go here in the first. Good cross-court pass. In and scoring is number 14, Kristen Bozik. Now with a 11-4 lead for Trinity. And timeout will be called by the Laurel Highlands Phillies with 3.01 to go here in the first. It's Trinity 11, Laurel Highlands 4. We'll be right back. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, CPAs in Uniontown, would like to wish the Law Hines girls basketball team and the coaches on having a successful basketball season this year. We're coming out of the timeout now with 3.01 to go here in the first quarter. Laurel Highland is trailing Trinity 11 to 4. Give us a quick opportunity to mention a few more of our sponsors, the Sprouse Insurance Group here in Uniontown, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiff by Rick Vernon and Jason Scott as Griffith will attempt to bring it in against that full court man-to-man press and it pays dividends, but Pecan able to pick it up. Gets it ahead to Davis. She'll take the short jumper off the rim, no good. That's going to be a foul going the other way. This time on Amaya Richardson, her first, team third. Good position for the rebounding there by Trinity. Caused that foul. Williamson over on the left side to number 24, Alyssa Clutter for the three. Now Trinity with a double-digit lead. Now long pass down to Davis. Has her player beat with the European step. Davis with the bucket. Now once again come back to Trinity. Good rebound there that time by Richardson, and she's going to be no, they call it a jump ball, no foul call, but that is Laurel Highland's possession. So 14-6. Richardson with four and Griffith with two for Laurel Highlands. Pass in now to Richardson. Couldn't control and out of bounds. We got a travel call. Just could not keep her feet over there. It was number 23. That's Riley Corinz. Griffith now looking for someone to get the ball into. She'll get it into the corner. This is Richardson, and she trying to dribble out of trouble, but she is double teamed there, and it looked like a ball was kicked, and it's going to go back to Trinity, but a lot of contact there down the left sideline. 2.08 to go here in the first. Ahead comes number 22. That's Agatha Nikolai. They're going to have another jump ball call, and this time it is Trinity possession. So battling there was Essence Davis along with Macy Justice for Trinity. Three-pointer on the way. Count it. Eden Williamson gets into the act with a three, making it 17-6 to six now. And we got five-second call as... Griffith could not find a teammate breaking open, and that'll give it back to Trinity on the baseline. Inbounds play now as they look for a cutter. Another jumper on the way, this time no good. Richardson can't control the rebound, gets her own rebound and try to go to the hoop. Another offensive put back, and this time it's number 20, Williamson again. Long pass, and now it's going to be... Controlled again, turnover back to Trinity. Press is giving the 
Phillies a lot of problems. Richardson's now get it ahead. Now she can't find a teammate to get it to. Baseline drive again. No good. Rebound offensive putback will be good. And that is number 24, Clutter, with a bucket and the foul. And that's going to be on number 23, Lynn. Her first team foul, number four, on the Phillies. That's going to bring some substitutions into the game for Laurel Highlands. Not sure we have a number 50 on our roster. We'll have to get her name. Clutter finishes the three-point play. Can't get it in again, and Griffiths will knock it out of bounds. It's going to be Trinity Ball. I'm going to assume that's uh, Lola McGinty, number 50, until we hear otherwise for the Phillies. Williamson now. Corner jumper on the way. Short controlled now by Richardson, but she just cannot get it to an open Philly on the break. Step back three on the way. Can't get the roll. Another rebound for Trinity. They're controlling the boards. Too many opportunities at the hoop. 22 to 6 with under 40 seconds to go here in the first. Foul on jumper hits it. That's Macy Justice for two. Mustangs now, or I'm sorry, the Phillies now are just having all kind of trouble getting the ball down the court. And then another pass intercepted. Baseline drive with the bucket and the foul. And that's going to be Clutter again with another opportunity at the three points. And that's going to be foul on McGinty. Her first. Team foul number five. So did not complete the three-point play, but offensive rebounds again, and they're going to be another foul on the Mustangs with the hoop. This time hoop by Maddie Roberts, and the Mustangs just cannot obtain a defensive rebound at this point. Again with the rebound on the missed foul shot. Those are killers. Phillies trying to finish the quarter. Long three on the way with five seconds to go and count it for Eden Williamson. So a barrage at the end of the first quarter puts Trinity out to a commanding 31-6 lead as we go to the second quarter and step aside here briefly for a word from our sponsors on the South Union Township Sports Network. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Did you know that colorectal cancer is the second leading cancer killer in America, or that it can be prevented by removing polyps during a 30-minute colonoscopy? At SWGI, screening colonoscopy. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Back here at the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium, the Phillies kept it close for most of the first quarter, but in the last two minutes, just too many putbacks and three-point opportunities for Trinity has them out now to a commanding 31-6 lead, and the press pressure is just causing all kind of problems for the Phillies getting any kind of opportunities at the hoop. So Pecan will go against the man-to-man -man now. This is Richardson, gets it to Griffith. She'll try to work one-on-one, -on -one, take the three herself. That's off the mark, out of bounds.
Trinity will control with a 31-6 lead just underway here in the second quarter. Good three-point shooters now blocked away, and Richardson with the steal, and it's going to be a foul called now here on number 11, Macy Justice, her first team foul number four. Out of bounds for Laurel Highlands, but that's really no box of chocolates. Yet, but they do get it into Griffith, and now she tries to get it down the court. No one home. Look up again, and here come Trinity. Foul line jumper. Count it. Smooth jumper there by Williamson. Gives her 11 already here in the first half. Richardson has it stolen away. And that's going to be out of bounds. Back to Trinity. Out of bounds play for Trinity. Left hand dribble into the lane and it's going to be a blocking call here. Out of bounds. That's going to be a foul on Lynn, her second, and put Trinity at the line for one and one. Clutter getting the opportunity. Checking in now is Christina Bozik. And she's going to give Roberts a break. One and one for Alyssa Clutter. Already with 11 in the contest. It's the first. Second opportunity for Alyssa. And she converts them both. 35 to six now, four points in the quarter for Trinity. Now some room for Griffith. Loses the handle. Quickly up ahead again comes Trinity. Finish it. Clutter with two, that gives her 15. 37 to six. 31 point lead and Trinity will back up a little bit now on defense. Some breathing room for the Phillies to try to get it ahead. Richardson just unable to handle it. This is Griffith. She's looking for a screen, she gets one, but good switching defense there. Now I'm not sure why the Phillies tried to save that as it was knocked out of bounds by Trinity, but that attempt will cause the ball to go back to Trinity. And checking in now is number 24, Maddie Kiefer. Billy's now in that 2-3 zone. Three-pointer on the way and count it. Everyone getting into the act now for Trinity. That's Claudia Capelli, the senior who just checked in. Number 25 with the three. 40 to six now. That's a travel. All kind of problems now for the Phillies. Checking back in now is number 22. That is Nikolai. And looks like number 23. That is Corinne's baseline for Bozik gets it back out in front. Ball movement for Trinity. Skip pass across, and that was tipped away by Griffith, but right in, back into the hands of the Hillers. Three on the way this time, and off the rim, no good. Good box out that time by Lynn, and they're going to have a foul call. That's going to be on Justice, her, sec um, her second. That's Macy Justice. 15 foul for Trinity. Peek on now to Griffith. Trying to find some room. Just cannot control that ball. Peek on tracks it down to a good hustle. Griffith now with an opportunity at the hoop and that's gonna be a block foul as Griffith tried to go to the hoop. And that's going to be on Bozik, her first, team sixth. So the next foul will put Trinity over the limit. Pa 
pass intercepted there by Justice. She gets it ahead quickly. In for the layup is number 14, Christina Bozik. 42 to six. Phillies yet to score here in the second. Knocked away again. That's going to be back to Laurel. Back court now to Pecon. See if she can get loose for a bucket, and it's going to be a travel. Difficult for her to try to get it around the much taller Trinity Hiller defense. Now controlling on the top is Agatha Nikolai. She'll get it over to Justice. Three-pointer on the way. This time no good off the back of the iron for Nikolai, but another rebound and another three-pointer on the way. That one is Riley Corrins, her first three. We're going to have a timeout called by Laurel Highlands with 4.26 to go here in the second. It's now Trinity 44, Laurel Highlands 6. We'll be right back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. Here we go back at the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium here at Laurel Highlands. Trinity dominating. So far, 44 to six, about halfway through the second quarter. The stifling man-to-man -man defense for Trinity is causing problems for Laurel Highlands to obtain any kind of opportunities at the hoop. Pecan looks for a screen, gets around that screen, gets it over to Richardson. Now to Kiefer, that's almost stolen away by Griffith. That's going to be Laura Highland's ball. Pass in now, and that's going to be picked up by Griffith on the rebound, on the deflection, I should say. She's going to try to bring it ahead, but coming in behind for the tap away was Clutter. And side out to the Phillies. Richardson tried to get it back to Griffith, but stolen away. Left-handed to the hoop. Number 20, Eden Williamson for her fourth point in the quarter. She has 13. Man-to-man -man defense again. Griffith trying to go baseline, can't get it inside as it dribbles off her foot and out of bounds once again. Back to Trinity. Clock running now with 3.35 to go here in the second. Number 15 is Gigi Dolman who checked in. She'll try a three and hit. Wow. The sophomore off the bench with a three. What a shooting exhibition by Trinity as one, two, three, four, five, six players with three pointers. And that's going to be knocked out of bounds again back to Trinity. Bringing in the head now is Dolman, a five foot three sophomore. Stolen away by Griffith. Can she get it to the hoop? She's fouled, but nothing called. Wow. And quickly back comes Trinity, and they are unable to complete the fast break bucket. So the Phillies will get it back.
Pecan now trying to create out front. That's through the hands of Kiefer out of bounds. Alessandra Pecon, five foot one, being guarded there by number 20, Eden Williamson, the five foot nine point guard for Trinity, makes it very difficult. Got it inside, stolen away. Griffith now again with an opportunity to bring it ahead, but almost has it stolen. She'll take it to the hoop. Can't get it to go. And score it this time by number 24. That's clutter. Pecan in the corner to Richardson. Being guarded there tightly by number 12, Sam Horn, who checked in. Out to Griffith. Griffith now gets a screen. Going to step back. Can't get it off, though. Richardson thought about the three. Lost her dribble. Needs to call a timeout, but can't get rid of it. Throws it into the middle and stolen away. Here they come again. Trinity bounce pass across. Finish by number 21. That's Roberts with two. Phillies yet to score here in the second with a minute 25 to go. Now trailing 53 to six. Get it to Richardson. She's just tied up, and it's going to be a foul call. And will probably put Richardson at the line. That's going to be called on. See who the foul's called on number 12. That's Sam Horn. Her first team seventh will put Richardson at the line for one and one. Trinity, one of the elite teams in the WPIL this year. And then we have a lane violation now by the Phillies. When it rains, it pours. Back comes Trinity. Baseline, good pass inside. Good look there to number 14, Bozick. She gets two. Pecon trying to drive the lane, being cut off at every angle. Now she gets a screen for Griffith. Griffith trying to go baseline. She's being hammered. Gets it up and in, though. Ariana Griffith with the bucket in the first hoop of the second quarter for the Phillies. Now deflected away, but right to the hands of the three-point shooter, number 23, Corinne's her second three-pointer. Pecon now will take it herself to the hoop and score it. Nice drive and finish by Pecon. 15 seconds to go here in the half. Trinity now has it knocked away by Griffith, but it'll stay with Trinity with six seconds to go. Clock continued to run after it went out of bounds. So they're going to reset it at, I believe, 7.8 seconds. <laughs> 58 to 10 is our score. And I think it might be worthwhile for the scorekeeper just to count down seven seconds. <laughs> Trying to get it worked out. Seventy-eight seconds now. Can't get it to seven point eight. Just let it run down. And shut it off at seven. Technological difficulties, Jerry. 
Can't get us to halftime. Now we got it. 7.8 seconds to go, 58 to 10. Out of bounds to Trinity. One last opportunity to score here for the Hillers. They'll swing it around to the right, get it inside. Spin move, nice spin move. Couldn't get it to go. Griffith with the rebound. She's being hammered, but no call. And that's going to get us to halftime with the score. Trinity 58, Laurel Highlands 10. We'll be back with halftime activities and the statistics. Gary Frank Kowser on the play-by-play. Jerry Dupay on the camera. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. The Law Hines Phillies basketball boosters would like to wish the Law Hines girls basketball team and their coaches on having a great and fun basketball season this year. collection calls, finding bills in the mail you can't pay. Are you expecting shutoff or foreclosure notices? If you're in financial trouble, you need to know that there is help under the law that will help protect you and your assets. Hi, this is attorney Chuck Zebley with Zebley Mahalov and White. Allow us to help you protect yourself. If you're in debt and have no way out, let us help you understand your options under the federal bankruptcy laws. Filing bankruptcy is not the end of the road. For many, it's a fresh start and a new beginning. So give our office a call today, 724-439-9200. Or visit our website at zeblaw.com. Zebley, Mahalov and White in Uniontown. Local attorneys helping local people. Let us help you fix your life. Zebley, Mahalov and White. It's going to be all. It's going to be all. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage. It's not... Sam Davis was a gift from heaven. He knows the law and the court system unlike anyone else I've ever met or seen. Sam helped me get through the federal court system with the best possible outcome. Davis and Davis, personal injury and workers' comp. We at Davis and Davis are humbled by what our clients have to say about us. If you've been injured, call me, Jim Davis, for a free consultation. We have been helping injured people for over 40 years. Call 724-437-2799. Welcome back to Laurel Highlands High School. Girls High School basketball, the Trinity Hillers traveling here to face the Laurel Highlands Phillies. And Trinity showing their dominance and their ranking to be not at all in question here in the WPIL with a 58-10 to halftime lead. For the Phillies, Ariana Griffith with four points, two in the first, two in the second. Essence Davis with four in the first for her total of four. And Alessandra Pecan with a lay-in for two points for their total of ten. On the Trinity side, scoring spread out with Macy Justice, number 11, having five, a three-pointer and a two-pointer. Christina Bozik with six, two in the first and four in the second. Gigi Dolman coming off the bench with a three-pointer in the second. Eden Williamson with nine in the first, four in the second for her total of 13. Maddie Roberts with four in the first, two in the second for her total of six. Riley Corrins with five. Claudia Capelli with a three for her total of three. And leading the way for... The Trinity Hillers, Alyssa Clutter, with 17. 
They scored 31 in the first, 27 in the second for their total of 48 points. We'll have a running clock as we start the second half throughout the second half. And the Phillies will need to try to work on some fundamentals. Ball handling, ball possession, ball protection, boxing out, and see if they can get some positives out of this second half. We'll be back with that second half action here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Gary Frankhauser along with Jerry Dupay. We'll be right back. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Have you ever felt something stick in your chest when swallowing? This can be caused by a narrowing in your esophagus from inflammation, scar tissue, or rarely a tumor. At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologist, Dr. Ruthard Calabrese, Hoppy, and I specialize in the care of swallowing disorders. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. bankruptcy is not something that anyone wants to do. Good people sometimes run into hard times, and they need help. Hi, I'm Dan White with the law offices of Zebley, Mahalib, and White, and I'm here to help. If you're faced with insurmountable debt and are out of options and you need help, give our office a call today. Allow us to help you understand your rights and options under the law. Filing bankruptcy is not the end of the road, and if you're struggling with debt, it very well could be a new beginning. So stop worrying and take action. Give our office a call today at 724-439-9200 or click on zeblaw.com for more information. Zebley Mahalov and White, local attorneys helping local people. Let us help you fix your life. Zebley Mahalov and White. It's gonna be all, it's gonna be all right. Some things just go together, like bread and butter, blue jeans and Saturdays, best friends and phone calls. And a great match? You and discounts from Erie Insurance. It's like this. Safety features in your car will have you paying less for your auto insurance. And pay off your Erie Auto policy all at once, and you'll save up to 7% more. On your homeowner's policy, you earn discounts that start at age 46 and go up each time you celebrate a birthday. There are more discounts, too, for things like home safety features and even teenage drivers. And the savings keep adding up. When you have your auto and home covered with Erie, you get a discount. Buy a life policy with us, and the savings can get even better. At Erie Insurance, above all in service means making life a little easier on you and on your wallet. Your Erie agent is waiting for you. Your local Erie agent is Sprowls Insurance Group, 724-437-9812, or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Discount terms and amounts may vary by state. See your local Erie agent for details. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases, but most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including free consultation. There are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis, representing you and your neighbors yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 724-437-2799.
Welcome back to Laurel Highlands High School. We're just about ready for second half action. Phillies out finishing up their warm-ups, and Trinity also on the home side this time. Trinity will be going left to right on your Facebook screen and the Phillies right to left as we start the second half action with a running clock. Phillies have had some uh, good games so far this season, playing much better basketball. Coach Capoza and uh, working on those fundamentals, getting the numbers up here for the participation. Good things to happen in the future with some underclassmen here coming on to the squad and uh, hopefully building things up here. With the help of the boys' basketball team, the spirit is high. Football team did very well this year for Laurel Highlands. Soccer teams both did very well for Laurel Highlands. And uh, we'll be looking for continuous basketball action, live basketball action here on the South Union Township Sports Network, Facebook Live. Being brought to you by our sponsors, Sprouse Insurance Group, United Bank, Davis & Davis, Smith Lewis Chess, CPAs here in Uniontown, the South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbeier, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialists, SWGI in Uniontown, and Zebley Mahalif and White. Possession will be with Trinity as we start the second half. And let's see who they have out there on the court. Looks like number 21. I'm sorry, number 20. That's Eden Williamson. Number 24, Alyssa Clutter, leading scorer. Corner there, that's number 14, Christina Bozik. Three on the way and in and out, but put back, unsuccessful again, and we're going to have a foul. Hitting the boards there was Macy Justice, and she'll go to the line for two, having been fouled now. That's going to be on Griffith, her first, team first. And they're going to call it on the floor on the rebound. So taking it out of bounds will be Macy Justice. Out of bounds play, send it way out on top there for Williamson. Three on the way, in and out. Good box out that time, but tipped right over to number 24, Clutter, for her first two of the second half, gives her 19 for the game. This is Griffith. Skip it across. And that's going to be a short jumper. No good for Essence Davis as Trinity will come back. Three on the way now for Macy Justice. Could not hit. Has it. Trinity now looking inside, and she gets a nice pass, and we got a foul called. I believe that's going to be on number 15, Richardson. And the two-shot foul will be given to number 24, Clutter. And short off the rim there by Clutter, her first miss from the line. Second one up, off the rim, no good. Tipped around and out of bounds and off the Phillies. Back to Trinity. Hustle play there by number 11, I'm sorry, 14. And that's um, Christina Bozik. Tip it out now. Drive, jumper, count it for Eden Williamson. And now we got a hand check. Oh, what's that call? Legal screen. Legal screen, that's her second. Bring it ahead now will be 
Williamson. The entire squad for Trinity not shy about launching those three-pointers. Now inside, nice steal that time by Davis. Trying to get it ahead. She'll be picked up, but throws it away into the middle. To the hoop. Won't score it, but a foul called. That's Macy Justice, and I believe she's fouled by Pecan that time. Oh, that's going to be on number 15, Richardson, her third. I'm sorry. I only had her for three. But they have to go with the official scorekeeper. I had it for four, but apparently she's out. So, oh, I didn't mark the last one down. That was the uh, illegal screen, the offensive foul. So that's the one I missed. So that is five fouls. And that's going to put Macy Justice at the line, and she's going to hit the first. Second one, good also. So into the game, I need to apologize for the first half. Naya Dillard, number 50, is the player that we had misidentified in the first half, but newly on to the team, number 50, Naya Dillard. Griffith now will try to trigger it in. Gets it in to Davis. Try to spin move. Davis now with a short jumper, no good. Out of bounds, back to Trinity. Running clock here with four and a half minutes to go in the third. Trinity has it knocked away. Nice tip out there by Pecon. Side out to be run by Trinity. On top there to Williamson. Across the way to Justice. Drive, kick out to Justice on the line. Short, no good. Nice box out that time by Davis. Gets it ahead to Griffith. She'll try to go to the hoop, and she is going to be called for the block. That's number 21, Roberts. Maddie Roberts with the foul, her second. On the floor, no shot. The clock continues to run. Griffith now looking for someone. Gets it inside but knocked out of bounds. Trying to catch that inbounds pass there was Laura Lynn, number 23. Five-foot-two senior for the Phillies. Davis now swinging around. Peek on, trying to get Griffith for the jumper. Gets a screen now. Nice screen that time by Lynn, but nowhere for Griffith to go. The Phillies now will work it around the outside. Griffith working inside, try to get Davis posted up, but back come the Trinity Hillers quickly. Left hand shot, no good. Put back, count it for Clutter. Four in the quarter, 21 in the game for Clutter. Griffith now, long three on the way off the rim, no good. Tried to be controlled there by Pecon. Again, ahead for Clutter. She'll get it back. Beautiful block that time by Griffith, but stolen away again, and back comes Trinity. Left-hand bucket there for Roberts. Billy's trying to find some offense. Three on the way, no good for Lynn. Back comes Trinity. Three on one, another three-pointer on the way, no good. Fighting for the rebound that time. Davis for the Phillies and Bozick for Trinity. Checking in now will be Riley Corinz. Peek on now, we'll bring it ahead. Still facing the tough man-to-man -to -man defense by the Trinity Hillers. Stolen away, and score it for Clutter. 
Six in the quarter, 23 now for Clutter. Davis off the handle of Griffith, out of bounds. Griffiths will get a break and checking in for the Phillies. Second number three. See who that is for Laurel Highlands. We don't have a number. That was Essence Davis. I'm sorry. Off the rim, no good. Davis with the rebound. Checking in was number 13, Olivia Martin, the freshman. Davis to the hoop. Too far underneath. She's fouled, though, with 22 seconds to go. Foul called there on number 22. I'm sorry, 21. That was Roberts. That's going to be her third. Davis at the line. Can't get the roll. At least yet to score here in the third with just 17 seconds remaining. Second one up. Got it. Clock needs to start now with 17 seconds. Another long three on the way. Good smooth shot there by Eden Williamson. It's just squared up perfectly. Perfect form. And Davis dribbles out the third quarter. And it will be 73 to 11 as we head to the fourth. We'll hear from our sponsors here on the South Union Township Sports Network. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Fatty liver affects 30% of Americans and is a leading cause of cirrhosis and liver cancer. Risk factors for fatty liver include alcohol abuse, obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure. At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologists, Dr. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Hoppy, and I specialize in the care of fatty liver. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days. At life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. We're back with fourth quarter action underway. A little short jumper missed there by number 14, Bozik, and the Phillies come out of the pack. Ahead to Davis. She tries to get the baseline, but guarded there nicely. Now Lynn thought about the three. She gets it to the hoop. Has it knocked away. Can't get the shot up. Pecan with the shot. Got it. Three-pointer for Pecan. Gives her five for the game. Need to get her open a little more often. Now foul line. Trinity ball movement. Try to get it in the middle, and they do, and in and out. Hard luck there for number 25. That's Claudia Capelli. Peek on now. Trying to screen down Davis with the long jumper, and that's out of bounds off the Phillies. Seventy-three to fourteen. As we 
run down the clock here in the fourth quarter down to about six minutes and ten seconds. Trinity now content to do ball movement and look for easy shots inside instead of the three, but there's a three on the way. No good. Trying to run it down, but out of bounds to Laurel Highlands. Substitute coming in. This is number 44 for the Mustangs. That's Lola McGinty. And Griffith about to check back in also. She's going to give Pecon a break. So on the court now for the Phillies, you have Lynn Griffith. Number 13, Martin. Number 44, McGinty. And number three, Davis. Breakout for the Hillers. Number 21 adds to her total. That's Roberts. She has double figures now at 10. Lynn to the hoop with the left. Has it blocked, but a foul called. That's on number 11. That's Maddie Justice, her third. We're going to have a substitute here now. Two shots for number 23, Laura Lynn. First one up, just a little strong. Checking in for Trinity, Gigi Dolman. Laura Lynn trying to get into the scoring column here from the line. Won't get it to go. Now what do we have called? Travel. Back to the Phillies underneath. Taking it out. Ariana Griffith will do the duty. Trying to direct traffic. Gets it way out on top to Lynn. Now in the corner, Griffith. Across to Lynn. Griffith thought about the three, now gets it to Davis. In the corner, McGinty. This is Lynn, and she has it knocked out of her hands, out of bounds. A little better ball movement that time by the Phillies. Substitutions coming in for Trinity. Looks like number 12, Sam Horn. And let's see who else came in there. Griffith, long three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down there by Horn. Gets it ahead to number 22, Nikolai, who just checked in. Give it to, back to her. She's blocked inside. Griffith comes out of the pack. Gets it ahead to Davis. Davis trying to get it up to the hoop. Can't do it. Rebound on fought for and controlled by Trinity. 3.40 to go. Lay in. Foul by Griffith. And going to the line will be number 23, Riley Corrins. That's going to be the second foul on Ariana Griffith. 75 to 14, 324 to go. Corinne's hits the first. Misses the second. Pecan will track it down and loses the handle, but Corinne's gets it back. Hands off to her partner, number 25, and that's Capelli for two. Econ loses her dribble and has it stripped. To the hoop and scoring is number 22, Nikolai. Econ now try to do it herself, kick it back to Davis. McGinty in the corner as it knocked out of her hands out of bounds. Clock running with 2.45 to go. Trinity in control all the way. 
Phillies kept it close for about the first half of the first quarter, but after that, it's been nothing but Trinity. Side out now for Griffith. Trying to find her teammate, she does, in the form of Alessandra Pecon. Griffith trying to cut the defense, but dribbles it off the defender's foot, number 22, Nikolai. We're under two minutes. Griffith now gets it way out on top to Davis. Over here to number 24, that's Kiefer. Couldn't get rid of it, and that's out of bounds. Trinity will have control. Minute 41 to go as Laura Lynn will check back in for McGinty. Minute 20 to go. Number 25 off the rim, no good. That was Capelli, and that'll be out of bounds to the Phillies with a minute 10 to go. One more opportunity at the hoop, it looks like. Let's see what we got here. Peek on to Davis. Davis being guarded there strongly. She'll take it to the hoop, and that's going to be an offensive foul. And Davis goes down hard. Wow. Got to stop for injury, probably. And that's Davis down. She went hard to the hoop, but picked up the offensive foul with 43 seconds to go, and she is in some pain. Not what you wanted to see as this game was winding down. Anybody from either squad to suffer an industry, in injury, and hoping this is not something serious for Essence, five foot nine junior. Starter for Laura Highlands, and uh, doesn't look like she's going to be able to get up on her own accord. So we'll step aside here and hear from a few sponsors as we wait for the trainers to deal with the injury on the court here on the South Union Township Sports Network. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Did you know that colorectal cancer is the second leading cancer killer in America, or that it can be prevented by removing polyps during a 30-minute colonoscopy? At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologists, Drs. Ruth Hart Calabrese Hoppe and I, encourage you to consider a screening colonoscopy. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. We're back as they're still dealing with Essence underneath the hoop to our left with 43 seconds remaining in the contest. We can go down a little bit of the statistics while we allow the training squad to deal with Essence and hope for the best for her. For the Phillies in the second half, one point for Essence Davis, giving her five, and three points for Alessandra Pecon giving her a total of five for just four points here in the second half for a total of 14. On the Trinity side, Macy Justice scored seven in the third, so she has 12. Christina Bozik with six. Gigi Dolman with three. Evan Williamson with, Eden Williamson with 15. Maddie Roberts with 10. Nikolai with two. Corinne's with six. Clutter now with 23 to lead all scores. I'm sorry, give her 20. Yeah, 23, I'm sorry. And Claudia Capelli with two. So the Trinity Hillers scored 15 points in the third quarter. 
and so far in the fourth have five for their total of 80. I'm sorry, have seven here in the quarter for their total of 80. And that's where it stands with 43 seconds to go, 80 to 14. And uh, this really is a concerning situation now as they really have been unable to allow Essence to put any kind of weight on that leg. And she's going to be helped off by the training squad. And we just really hope that that is something that's not going to cause her any further problems for the rest of the season. So the ball will be out of bounds to Trinity after the offensive foul called. And they're probably just going to need to clean up the floor a little bit here, get this back underway. And Laurel Highland's next game will be the Christmas tournament Monday, December the 27th versus Chartier's Houston at 12:45. Have that game for you on the Facebook Live page, South Union Township Sports Network. And Trinity will again have the inbounds with 43 seconds to go, and you would think that they're going to just work on their passing game here, maybe get one more shot up. And the Phillies back in their 2-3 zone. Zone offense for Trinity as we're under 30 seconds now. Pass it into the corner. I thought about the three that time was Corinne's. Number 15 is Dolman inside, out of bounds. So with 10 seconds to go on a running clock, the Phillies probably will not get another shot off. Down to four. Three, two, one. Griffith with the long one. No good as time runs out here at the Laurel Highland Senior High School Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. Our final score, Trinity 80, Laurel Highlands 14. We'll be back to wrap this up here on the South Indian Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days. At life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service. Real service. From a person you know, and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank. At your service. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprawls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprawlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage. It's not... We're back at the Laurel Highlands High School Gymnasium. Our final once again, Trinity 80, Laurel Highlands 14. Score by quarter. The Mustangs just six in the first, four in the second, one in the third, three in the fourth for their total of 14. Trinity 31 in the first, 27 in the second, 15 in the third, and seven in the fourth as a running clock allowed this game to continue. And that's our final. This game has been brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring the supervisors, Bob Schiffbeier, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, everyone at CUTV with Gary Smith and his staff. This has been Gary Frankhauser along with Jerry DuPay on the camera. Another South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Good night, everyone. <laughs>